I'm not even going to lie. I was wondering when the next uh, Blackaren video was going to come. Because it's not like I go in search of them. It's just like they kind of happen to fall into my lap unless someone sends them to me. Believe it or not, no one really sends me videos about Blackaren. I just happen to kind of find them. But this one right here was definitely worthy of it. And I was actually going to talk about this in my live stream. But it's like the thoughts are flowing now. And why put on at the end of the week what I can put into a pre-recorded video and get up either by the end of the week or at a, a a little bit of a later date or just kind of throw it in there when I'm ready to upload it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this video right here. And this is coming from CNN when they had their New Year's Eve, New Year's morning day or whatever you could call it celebration that they usually have every year. Of course, they didn't have it last year because of, of WooVit. But I want y'all to listen to this audio. Well, it's not audio, but it's a whole, it's a one minute clip from CNN where it involves uh, some people on this float down in New Orleans, just bringing in 2022 and really pay attention and listen to this woman whose name is Dulce Sloan. She's the woman right here. And of course, we all know who this is. And also pay attention that I believe this is a young girl. That's sitting here. I'm not sure who she is. I don't know if she's like another CNN contributor or not. But I want y'all to listen to what she says. Live your life. That's fine, okay. too. Yes. You know what my, no, what my resolution is? Yeah. For 2022? Yeah. No more broke dick, okay? No more what? No more broke dick. No more penis from a man that has no money. Did you say broke dick? Yes. Oh. But it's always good. That's the problem. Wow. Oh. Why do you like some good? Like, Rick, Thanks, dirty can I say that on TV? Is that okay? I ain't saying she's a broke Listen, all I'm saying is, say if thing. anyone who is acquiring male genitalia, it needs to be attached to someone who can also fly into the Caribbean. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you just heard this woman right here be as classless as she wants to be. And I think that's what I'm going to call it. Examining the classless Black Karen. So I never heard of this Dulce Sloan before until I saw this clip and somebody had pointed it out to me. And I don't and it, it, I haven't really seen anybody do a commentary about this. Um, I wonder if uh, the Crimson Cure is going to talk about this by the time this video goes up, because I know that this is her area of expertise. But when I heard this and I saw this, I was like taken aback, not because of necessarily of what she said it's because one of where she said it. And two, they did not bleep out anything that she said. This woman on CNN granted you're celebrating New Year's Eve and you know it's a celebration everybody's partying and keep in mind we are still in the midst of a pandemic and whatever and all these other variants but she sat up there and I bet you she's gonna blame it on the alcohol uh if they ever ask her what made her say it but I truly believe that she was in her right mind they always say a drunk must be sober thoughts she sat up there and she said in 2022, I don't want any more broke dick. If she, and then Don had to like take his earpiece out because he wasn't sure what she was he was saying because you know he's drunk as he usually is every time he does these things. But I think Don heard what he said. He heard what she said, but he tried to play it off like uh, he didn't understand or hear what she was saying. And then she repeated it, and then she said it again a third time and said she didn't want any penis attached to a broke man she says if i if there's any pain i'm just kind of paraphrasing what she said because i'm not gonna play it back she says if there's any penis attached to a man hopefully it's attached to a man with some money or why she said oh someone who could fly me out to the caribbean i mean i could go out to the caribbean myself but there's no fun in that so she basically just said that in 2022 and i hope all the men out there are listening and watching and have an eye on this one. She says in 2022, she is looking for a guy with uh, who can satisfy her in two ways. One in the first one is through money. And the second is through pleasure. 
in other words, she doesn't want it to be with a man uh, just for the sake of being with a man. She wants to be with a man who can support her in probably any habits that she has. Basically, she just lets you know on national television and live in real color in, in living color that she is a gold digger. She's only there for two reasons, money and what's between your legs. That's it. Well, I will say this, at least she was up front about it, so you don't have to figure out about it later, and you don't have to find out. But I'm trying to see, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious what simp will actually go out of his way to do this for her, or be with her when she said what she said. Now, here's the double standard. Imagine a man got up there in the same setting like she's in right now, and uttered those words this would have been so widespread because like i told you this happened on new year's eve going into new year's day so that was on the 31st of december going into the 1st of january i am recording this video on january 3rd and i bet you by the time this video gets up there many of you would one of two things one you don't even know who this woman is and two you didn't even know this happened and I would not have known what her name was if I didn't scroll through the thread in which this video was posted on and then some, and, and someone posted an article, I guess a brief write-up or whatever the case may be, and it had her name attached to it. Otherwise, it would have been a mystery trying to figure out who she is because I've never heard of this woman before. I know of her now, and I would notice they're extremely clear of her or her type. But like I said, let a man have gotten up there like she did and actually said something about something to the effect in 2022. I don't want to be with no broke badge. Imagine she a, a man said that if a man has said that or something to the effect, they would have canceled him. They would have me to him. They would have said that he's being misogynistic. They said he doesn't care about women and all types of stuff like that. But they don't want to talk about the clear and utter misandry that she displayed right there on television in front of the entire world or whoever was watching at this time. Now, if you look at it, it says 1207 a.m. Central Time. So they was, of course, in New Orleans. So that's seven minutes after midnight. So it was an hour later over here where I'm at. When this was uh when this was occurring. And this video right here is probably one of the only videos you will see con uh, concerning this. Because I highly doubt that they that this would play back. I mean, it might be you know it might be other places on YouTube or other places where this is located, but I don't even want to read an article of them asking her why she said that because I already know it's probably going to be a fluff piece. She's probably going to say, "Oh, I was drunk, I was intoxicated," and or it was out of context. No, we heard exactly what you said. You said in 2022, "I don't want broke dick." I don't want a penis attached to a broke man. I want it to I want to be with someone who can, you know, fly me with penis that can fly me out to the Caribbean. So notice she, who she says she wants to be with. She didn't say she wants to be with a man. She said she wants to be with penis that can fly her out to the Caribbean. Why go out to the Caribbean by myself if I can go out there with someone uh, who, who has some money? Well, like I said, I'll give her kudos for letting us know how, like what she thinks and how she actually, you know, feels and whatnot. That way you can steer clear of a person like that. But the fact of the matter also was that this was on CNN. This was, this was not on BET or any type of cable network where someone would expect this to actually happen. This is on CNN. Despite how you feel about CNN, it's still considered a quote unquote news network. Now, the only place I could probably think of that probably talked about this is maybe Fox News, because, you know, Fox News and, you know, CNN, they're like rivals. They don't like each other. But the fact of the matter still remains is that this woman got up there and said what she said, and I bet you she will not be held accountable for what she said. She's going to continue to, you know, just keep on going. And I wonder if they're going to have her on next year and what else is she going to say? Is she going to say, did she find what she was looking for in 2022? I mean, I'm just curious. And I hate to, you know, take it a step further, but look at her physical appearance. 
She has the stereotypical mammy look. Dark skin, overweight, loud, and just lets filth fly out of her mouth. And I'm not saying that as a dig to anyone who fits that same, who fits that mold, but let's be real here. She fits the stereotype to a T in this moment. 